Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we'll take a look at three reasons where using Blogger can be more efficient than WordPress. So let's get started. WordPress, which is an open source platform, and uh, Blogger, which is managed by Google, are tools that are used to create websites. There are many pros and cons of WordPress and Blogger, and uh, they are even compared a lot on the internet. WordPress is considered better by many developers, and it is actually a lot popular and used tool than Blogger. I actually think WordPress is one of the best content management systems or web development tools on the planet. But there are some basic differences between Blogger and WordPress. Blogger is mainly a tool for creating blogs, whereas WordPress is a tool to create almost every type of website you may think of. You can create websites like blogs, forums, social networking sites, e-commerce websites, and a plethora of different websites. But remember that Blogger is just for creating blogs, so comparing Blogger and WordPress cannot be a fair thing to do. But there are some situations where it may be more efficient for you to create a website with Blogger rather than using WordPress. So let's take a look at three situations where you may want to use Blogger. If you want to set up a website real quick and start writing your first blog in say a minute or two, Blogger can actually help you do it. You just have to log into your Blogger account with your email, then just click on create a new blog, then name the blog and also set a domain name for the blog. Then choose the theme that you want and then simply click on create blog. That's it. You have successfully created your website. Now it is just a matter of creating some blog posts and filling your website with valuable content. To create a post, just click on new post, provide the title and then type in the content of the blog post. Then click on publish. Now you have published your first blog post. You can view the blog by clicking on the view blog button. And here you can see your website. Click on the blog post and uh, you can see the post that you have written. That is how simple it is to get started with a website in Blogger. So if you are an absolute beginner in blogging and just want to get started and try whether this blogging thing works for you, you can start your blogging journey by creating a blog with Blogger. If you later want to switch to WordPress, you can do it pretty easily as well. You can export your Blogger content and import it into WordPress and all the posts you had in Blogger will be available on your new WordPress website. So you can definitely get started with Blogger. You can also add your custom domain if you want to your website on Blogger. On the other hand, if you are planning to create a blog using WordPress, you need to do a lot more work. First you need to register a domain name and uh, then you need to have a hosting plan. Once you have those, you have to redirect the domain name correctly if you have hosting and domain name from different companies. Then you need to install WordPress on your hosting server. If the hosting server doesn't have a quick install for WordPress or if the quick install doesn't work for some reason, then you have to manually install WordPress on the server. By the way, I do have a video on installing WordPress on your hosting server. You can watch it if you really want to install WordPress. I will leave the link in the description below. Okay, then you have to log into your WordPress website and then choose the theme you want and then start writing your posts. So getting started with WordPress is a little bit harder for a beginner. Creating a blog with Blogger is completely free. Now even WordPress is free and open source. But to install WordPress you need to have a hosting server which you can get by subscribing to a hosting plan. Whereas in Blogger you already have a hosting space from the servers of Google. So you don't have to worry about the hosting space. Then for WordPress you need to have a domain name which you can purchase online. But for Blogger it will provide you with a free Blogspot subdomain. So just type in the domain name you want and uh, you will get a Blogspot subdomain with that name. Now subdomains are not recommended for you if you are serious about blogging. But if you just want to try everything out and test out whether you can do it, then you can host on a subdomain as well. There is also an option to move your website to a custom domain in Blogger. If you are using WordPress to create your website, then you are responsible for everything that happens to your website. Which means that you are responsible for the security of your website, 
the performance of your website and pretty much everything that is in your website is under your control. This is a very good thing but for beginners this can be difficult. If you haven't set up your website correctly, your website may be subject to security threats. You can even mess up the performance of your website pretty easily with WordPress by installing unnecessary plugins and poorly coded themes. Blogger is for absolute beginners. Google takes care of the security of your website so you don't have to worry about the security. Your files are stored in the servers of Google. So you can completely focus on creating content rather than focusing on all the technical aspects of the website. I have used Blogger in the past and I have also used WordPress. If you compare both of them, WordPress is the one that is most often used by everyone. With WordPress, you can have more control over your website. So if you are an intermediate or an advanced user, you can go ahead with WordPress. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And click on the like button if you found this useful. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.